Hello friends. Before I begin, let me answer the question that I asked you in our last class. The correct answer is the word Q. Q U E U E. If only you know the correct spelling of the word, you will get this answer. If you remove the last four letters, you will get the same pronunciation that is Q. You know, in competitive exams, your spelling may also be tested. So, study the spelling of difficult words like this with better care and attention. Now, let us start our grammar topics. Today, I would like to give you a small talk on the indefinite articles in English. A and an are the indefinite articles in English. Some of the modern grammarians call them non-definite articles. Now, both the words have the same meaning. A means one, and also means one. But they are used in different contexts. You know, both are grammatical words. Therefore, they have more than one form in pronunciation. The word alone will be pronounced in one way and when it occurs in a sentence it will be pronounced in a different way. The first one is called the strong form and the second one is called the weak form. Now let us examine the first one that is A. It has both strong and weak forms. A somebody asks you which is the first letter of the English alphabet? You say A. A is the first letter of the English alphabet. Here you are using the strong form because there is a kind of emphasis on the word. But when the same word occurs in a sentence, it will be pronounced in a slightly different manner. For example, I saw a boy in the garden. I saw a boy in the garden. Nobody will say, I saw a boy in the garden, but a boy. There is a pen in my pocket. A pen, a book, a teacher, etc. So, the word in isolation is pronounced A. When the word occurs in a sentence, it is pronounced A. Now, look at the other word, an. When you say, an is one of the indefinite articles in English, you are using the strong form, an. But when the word occurs in a sentence, you will be, you will pronounce it in a different way. An. For example, I am an Indian. I am an Indian. An idea can change your life. She is an intelligent girl and will be heard. That is the weak form. Now let us examine where we use A and where we use AN. Before a word beginning with a consonant sound, you can use A. A boy, a teacher, a book a film and so on. Before a word beginning with a vowel sound, you have to use an, an Indian, an idea, an intelligent boy, etc. Now sometimes you may have confusion. A word may begin with a vowel letter, but the first sound may not be a vowel sound. For example, look at 
these sentences england is a european country european the word european begins with a vowel letter but the first sound is here it is not a vowel sound but a consonant sound that is why we say a european country there is a university in the city university begins with a vowel letter but the first sound here is a consonant sound or look at the sentence i will complete the work in a year in a year a year year begins with a consonant sound so also it is a yellow flower it is a yellow flower so before words beginning with consonant sounds we have used a sometimes a word may begin with a consonant letter but the first sound may be a vowel sound for example there are some words beginning with the letter h who is an honest man h o n e s t is pronounced honest h is totally silent or brutus is an honorable man honorable he is an honorable man h o n o u r a b l e it is pronounced honorable so an honorable man h o u r hour i will complete the work within an hour within an hour now what about the word hotel h o t e l most people pronounce the word as hotel but some people pronounce it as hotel with h silent if the pronunciation is hotel you have to say there's a hotel in the city if it is hotel you can say there is an hotel in the city i think it is clear before words beginning with vowel sounds you can use an consonant sounds you can use a we are concerned not with the letters here but with the sounds we can study all the vowel sounds when we study the speech sounds in english now we can examine the various contexts in which you can use the indefinite article first one before a singular countable noun when it is mentioned for the first time in a sentence a singular countable noun when it is mentioned for the first time in a sentence for example i saw a woman with a baby in her hand yesterday i bought an interesting novel second point before a singular countable noun when it is used as an example of a class of things for example a car must be insured it means all cars must be insured an encyclopedia is a useful book that means all such books are useful next point before noun complements including names of professions she is a doctor he became an advocate a doctor an advocate they are the complements here we can study in detail about the complements in english now next point before numerical expressions like a dozen half a dozen a million etc next point in expressions of size speed ratio etc a kilometer 
three times a day, four times a week, etc. Next point: before few and little to get the meaning some. These words few and little have negative meaning. But if you put the word a before them, you get the meaning some. For example, there is a little water in the pot means there is some water in the pot. If you say there is little water in the pot, it means there is no water in the pot. So also, there are a few boys in the class. It means there are some boys in the class. If you say there are few boys in the class, it means there are no boys in the class. Now, what is the difference between few and little? We can use the word few before countable nouns and little before uncountable nouns. Okay, now our next point in ex. exclamatory sentences we have already studied the exclamatory sentences in detail now just look at these examples what a difficult question what a splendid sight okay now let us come to the next point before titles like mr mrs miss etc for example i saw mr smith yesterday or i talked to a miss rani in the evening i talked to a miss rani in the evening now it is also used before such words like arms elms arms barracks gallows quarters etc though plural in form they are singular in meaning now that much about the indefinite articles a and an now let me come to the concluding part of my talk here i would like to give you some sentences for correction one i prefer coffee than tea second one if you don't know the meaning of the word you refer a dictionary both are grammatically unacceptable find out the mistakes in them and we can correct them the first one i prefer coffee than tea after the verb prefer you cannot to use than here you have to use the word to so the correct form is i prefer coffee to tea now second one if you don't know the meaning of the word you refer a dictionary you cannot say refer a dictionary you have to say you refer to a dictionary or refer to the dictionary because after the word refer to is a must earlier i said after the word listen we have to use the word to for example he listened to the speech carefully so here now you can remember after these three words you can use only to which are the three words refer prefer and listen okay now we can stop for the time being and i will meet you again in our next class thank you